Yeah. So but uh, my, hold on. my understanding is that we have the right to trespass anyone. Let me, let me find yeah. out. Hey, sorry to bother you. <laughs> Riverfront Esplanade, all this nonsense over here. Who is, who is that owned by? Instructions and address. So, okay, so if they want somebody to trespass from here, they can. Okay. Okay. Very good. Got it. Yes, sir. How you doing, sir? I'm alright. How are you? Good. I appreciate what you're doing. Okay. Okay. So with this new property, uh, my sergeant is going to send over me an email. Okay. And I'm going to reread it as far as trespassers and people that they want trespassed in the park here. Um, because it is, it's technically like city property and private property rolled into one. Uh -huh. And if they want somebody trespassed from here, they could have them trespassed, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and read that, okay? They want you to leave, okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm asking you to leave, okay? You can go right down the sidewalk and do that if you'd like, okay? Uh -huh. But where you're at right now, with, and they want you to leave, they have the right to do that, okay? If you don't leave, then I have to place you under arrest for trespass, okay? So I'm gonna let you figure out what you wanna do. I'm gonna go read that. If you're here when I come back, you go to jail, okay? Is that body cam recorded? It is, yep. And your phone's still going too? Uh, I don't know, it may have overheated. I'm sorry? It may have overheated. But, overheated, uh, okay. All right, But uh, so we straight on with it? This is, this is city property. Yeah, I have to read it, I don't think it is. Because it's, it's a portion of it is with brown and brown. So, like I said, if you want to go down there on the sidewalk, you're more than welcome to. Okay? But that's where we're at. So, it's so are you going to you. come back and read it to me, and then I can leave? No, I'm not going to do that. You can you can figure it out with the judge and the city from there how you want to do it. Okay? So right now, if I don't leave the property, you're going to arrest me. I'm going to read it again, just uh -huh. to make sure I'm correct. But the sergeant that I just spoke to said that I have the authorization to place you under arrest if you don't leave. Right. But I'm going to give you the benefit of that, and I'm going to go read it again. Okay. You with me? Yeah. I'm so, with you. you can do what you want, but... Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Officer K. Allen. Officer Kevin Allen. Kevin Allen. Yes. What's happening? I gotta read this email from uh, Kevin about this place. Huh? I gotta read the email here. Did security tell him to leave, or did yeah, it yeah? Yeah, but I don't think. I think this is. Uh, it was unclear whether it was city. There are no signs. Is he, is he one of those under the film and fucking... No, it's, he's got a God bless homeless vets. God bless homeless vets? I don't know why they're telling him to go, but I mean... Is this city park? Hold on, like, God damn it, let me read this. God damn it. God bless homeless vets. God bless homeless vets. Coming up on you. God bless homeless vets. Let me read this real quick, all right?
So it's all private property, which is why the gates are like this. Okay, so there's two areas, okay, that are city property. And it's at the very end of MMB right there where the statue is, okay. And the other one is the northeast corner of ISB and Beach, okay. If you want to go there and, and you know, do what you're doing, you're good to go, okay. So who, who told you it was private property? I'm sorry? Who, who told you it was private property? Sergeant Connolly. Sergeant Connolly. Okay. Right. So from the grass line in, you pretty much have to stay oh, clear. Even the grass line? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, we're just going to educate you and you're free to go. Okay. All right. You're not even being trespassed. <laughs> so, but if I go back on there and do this, then. I'll... If you go back on there, you're going to jail. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's get down here. All right. He's on his way. I appreciate that. All right, man. Um, you know, quite honestly, you know, I ain't told him. I said, look, I'm a vet. I appreciate what yeah. you're doing. Unfortunately, my job is to ensure it's not done and making people uncomfortable. No, no problem. You know, and it's something that we, we're private, you know, we're third party. Yeah. So there's a lot of contention that right we may have with the, you know, the management. Right. You know, if he's not bothering people, in this case, he was. Yeah, no problem. Where I understand that. So, I appreciate it's that. because it's brand new. We didn't know yeah. which, and there's two portions of this that are actually city property, which is the end of right. MMB and then the northeast right. corner of ISB. And right. Beach. And I actually referred him to the, either of those properties. Okay. You know, and the deal was with trespassing is, you know, if, if they're on the property and we asked them for ID, they could say no, but okay. they have to leave. Okay. You with me? Yeah. Like if they say no, and but they're leaving, uh -huh. we can't do anything with okay. them. Okay. So it's kind of a so, touchy situation there. So we can't trespass them at that point. We can tell them you can't come back, but if they came back a month from now, it wouldn't count. You know what I'm, see what I'm and saying? I prefer not to trespass. Again, if he's not right. bothered, people, yeah. I don't care. Okay. But uh, the management does. I hear you. No problem. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Take it easy. Yep. Kevin Allen. Kevin Allen, yep. Scott Porter. Nice to meet you. What's the badge number? We don't have a badge number, but it's uh, Kevin uh, 3 Alpha 5-5 five five is my Oh, you're 5-5. Five five. Okay. Yep. Come on over here. You those guys who want to connect four. Well, they actually said, I think it's four five. What do you think they would do if they said you're not playing that? Steve was out there playing that. <laughs> so I'm watching The Perfect Storm last night. Okay. And That's I what I used to you, do, you know. I picture, I picture you on there going... When they're, when, they're, when they're underwater in uh, Marky Mark, see, in that actual, um, and that, uh, now he's got 12 the, uh, the director, see if he's still here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm going to get back. Mm-hmm. I got back on it. So, in a perfect storm, when they actually go under, that was a true story. It was a true story. I think Based on a true story. Based, yeah. And when they were underneath there, Mark and Mark says, you know, we, you know, we had a heck of a run. You're doing the right, the right decision, Captain. He supposedly gets out. And he doesn't, you don't know if he lives or not. Yeah. But the captain, which is uh, uh, George Clooney, he goes out and then he stops. Right. I believe that's because the captain always goes down with the ship. Yeah. I think that's why he stayed in there. Could be. But I don't think any, I, that was a, based on a true story, it was like 1991 and like there was 15 hands on deck. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that's why I came over here. I knew it was going to be. Oh, yeah. Um, 15 hands on the deck and they all perished. Yeah. I mean, it was huge. Some of those storms, they said, were getting 80 to 90 foot waves, swells, waves. So, I, I mean, what, what can you do? If it, like, like that last one, if you don't make the break, it just pushes you back over. That was and you can't movie. turn around because it'll roll you. That was for the movie. I mean. Yeah. But. It doesn't really, I mean, it doesn't look like that. They just, I think they were just so overloaded, they got swamped. Yeah. I think that's what happened. Because they were so. being a little greedy with yeah. the fish. Because mm -hmm. they were trying to make it to some place, because no one was really catching fish, then all of a sudden they started catching them. And well, they the got Flemish, the load, and they said, hey, we've been out here this yeah. long, let's make more money. So the Flemish Cap is the, the furthest point on the Grand Banks that you can go. It's and, way out off yeah. of Nova Scotia. Yes. Yep. And Bob McCannon. Canada, yeah. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It's basically, uh, you're closer to Newfoundland. That's the, that's the closest uh, yeah. point of land. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, man, I fished that for years. 
I don't know. That's just scary being a couple hundred miles offshore. It's a five-day trip from uh, from Barnegat, New Jersey. To just to get just there. To get there, yeah. And what so do you we, stay? We, well, you stay to your full. What could that take? Two days? Two weeks? What's that? You stay to your full, right? Yeah. Well, you fish. Well, you fish until you're out of pretty much uh, fuel and uh, and provisions. Uh, what were they but, fishing for? They had those nets, so they must be no, fishing for. They they were long lining. That's what we. That's what they basically. That's mainly what they do up on the Grand Bank. What's long lining? So you have a. Hey, hey. It's monofilament, mono, like foliage fishing line, but it's 900 pound test. You just run trout lines. And like, it's, it's basically say yeah, and it's a snap with a leader and a hook. And what are you trying to catch? Tuna. A swordfish. A swordfish, tuna, and sharks. Yeah. Tuna. Yeah, big eyes, yellowfin, bluefin. Uh, but uh, get a lot of sharks. Yeah, a lot of makos. Pay you good. just cut, cut, cut no, them, no, cut they them pay good money for mako. Huh? They get good money for makos. Well, you just cut the tail off. Cut the head off. Cut the tails and then pack them nice. Huh. Yeah. But uh, an average trip was about 35, 40 days. Is he gone now? No, he's sitting in the blue car there. Probably a YouTuber. You know, just trying to get a rise, you know. Sure. Either, or either that or one of those auditors. Yeah. So I'll be over by the Main Street Bridge when you get done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Probably the same as that guy. No, there's a young guy with a gun. Oh, really? Yeah, he had a gun, too, didn't he? Huh? I think he had a gun, too. 